You're welcome to Boom and Crash Expert Advisor. Today I'll be sharing with you a powerful RSI technique for trading spikes. This comes in handy when you have uh, at least $30 or more. I don't think it will be able to survive with $10. Alright, and I also advise that you always gather much equity or much balance in order to start trading Boom and Crash. Because most of the times when you start with $10 or $20, you are kicked out very early okay so a minimum of about 50 50 will, will be fine but uh, personally i prefer you start trading with hundred dollars so you are safe when you're going for a 0 0.3 lot size 0 0.5 lot size you are still confident but you can go for 0 0.4 or 0 0.5 lot size with ten dollars and even your 0 0.2 dollars you tend to be afraid of of uh, meeting a spike Right, so let's start. And normally what we do is to add indicators. So insert indicator, oscillator, because the RSI is an oscillator. And then instead of your 14 period, which is supposed to give you something like this, uh, let me right click and edit this. Let me change this to black. Okay, instead of something like this, right? Which is a uh, 14 period. Okay, you realize that this 14 period, uh, now mostly, mostly a lot of people go by this rule, that if it goes above 70, you should sell, if it goes below 30, you should buy, okay, uh, awaiting a spike. Now, if you buy at this point that the RSI crosses below 30, you're going to buy here and expect a spike. Now, f the journey from here to there might wipe out your account if you are trading with ten dollars or maybe fifteen dollars this this is 0 0.44 percent so that's about eight dollars gap with a 0 0.2 lot size this is about an eight eight point five dollars gap okay now if you're having ten dollars you you'll be kicked out even before a spike appears okay and uh now, aside that, there's a long distance. Even if you have $50 and you go for, say, 0.5 lot size, you might be kicked out before a spike. Or you might get discouraged after how many bars? This is about 54 bars. That's 54 means almost one hour. So you have $50 and then you, you buy here when it crosses below 30, waiting for a spike. And for one whole hour, there's no spike. You are probably going to close your your position which will leave you in a loss so to do this to do this i'm going to change my rsi period i'll maintain 70 30 i may edit it and i'll change this to 40 instead of 14 okay 70 30 and then i click ok now what this is going to do, this 40 RSI period is going to do is that I'm going to be safer in trading spikes with this if it crosses below 30. Because if it crosses below 30 and I come in, that's at this point, I would have to wait for a lesser amount of time as compared to RSI of period 14 where I'd, I place my, my buy here, where my buy is supposed to be here. This is where my buy was. This is where my buy was. This is where it was. But then if RSI is shifted to 40, I'm going to survive. This is where my buy will be. You see the gap. So it's going to save me this amount of money. Right. So if I come in here, this one spike will settle me. Okay, I'm not going to run at a loss. Now at this point, RSI 40, this buy, this spike, okay, is going to satisfy my buy or it's going to settle my buy. So I'm not being so much of a loss. You see that at this point, I'm going to get the spike, right? At this point, uh, I'm not connected to the internet, but I'll probably have a spike somewhere here. All right, so you, you just check, let's go back and then you check a lot of times you'll be safe if you go with this 40 period on the RSI. Now, 
even if you miss it here that's why i advise for good equity even if you miss it here okay the good thing is the the market is going to retrace so you're going to capture your profit again this is where i advise you use at least fifty dollars or preferably hundred dollars the market is going to retrace so you're going to get your profit back okay this point you break even here at this point you run at a loss now this is what i advise when you see the market trending this way when you see the market trending this way mostly if you come in when it hits the 30 you might uh, run at a loss because the market is trending downward so when you see it's really trending downward all right for instance you see the first the first portion now this side when you come in you are going to end right now this is where it has started trending downwards but you know when you come in here you're going to end after the spike now you see it's trending downward and this time 30 is here but the, the the spike comes in later and it doesn't even touch where you place your position it gives you the hint that we are on a seriously trending seriously downward trending market okay so at this 30 level after the spike you are not going to come in because you still run at a loss the market is trending downward so what you're going to do is you're going to edit this right click and then add another level you're going to add 20 so 20 level is when when you realize it's trending downward you are going to buy at the 20 level at this point and you'll be able to catch it now this is a serious downward trend okay this is a serious downward trend so after here after here you get this profit and then you come in here now if you come in here when it crosses 30 crosses below 30 you realize that you've been a loss for a while right that's why i advise that you come in when it goes beneath the 20 in that long downward trend now when you come here and you have enough equity you may not catch a spike but eventually the market will retrace it's going to retrace and then you get your profit so one thing I've learned through experiences, if you have a lot of equity, you survive easily on boom and crash. If you have little, you, you hardly survive. So use RSI of period 40 and then use 30 to target your spikes. Use 30 to target your spikes. This side is fine. Use 30 to target your spikes. Use 30 to target your spikes. <laughs> use 30 to target your spikes it's only in the case of a, a serious downward trend or a major downward trend that 30 may not work for you where you have to go with 20 right and if you also want to you, you still don't trust the 20 you can always add 15 you can always add 15 so when it hits 15 can come in it's going to retrace and then you get your profit back right so the technique here is to increase your rsi from 14 to 40 and then set 30 and 20 and if you want you can add 15 and the opposite is true for crash right uh, for crash you are waiting for the spikes at the top so you need to you need to add 80 okay you add 80 now this is a serious uptrend so you need to add 80 and then you 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 sell when it hits 80 and if you have, if you have enough equity the market is going to retrace and then you take your profit again which is somewhere here 80 you will break even here but if you wait for it after a long while the market will retrace the market will always retrace itself and then it comes down right so have good equity start with 50 at least but if you have 100 all the better and then you always be safe right same is true for crash 500 
uh, boom 500 right so guys that's it i'd like you to like the video share comment below let me know your thoughts and also subscribe to the channel for more content bye